Long queues of voters in polling booths are a familiar sight during elections. However, some voters are allowed to cast their vote through postal ballot papers as opposed to pressing an electronic voting machine or EVM button. The postal ballot system is mainly meant for officials and military personnel who cannot be present at the polling stations because of official commitments. Postal ballot is restricted to certain categories of people such as members of the armed forces, ambassadors and high commissioners and their staff. Polling agents, polling officers, presiding officers or other public servants on election duty are also allowed to vote through postal ballots. People under preventive detention can cast their votes through postal ballots as well. However, moving places within the country will not make anybody eligible for using the postal ballot system. NRIs are not allowed to vote through postal ballots. Under postal ballot, the voter marks his or her vote by putting a cross or tick against the name of the candidate of his or her choice in an electronically transmitted ballot paper or ETBP. The voter then places the marked ballot paper inside a smaller envelope, closes the envelope by gum and pastes a label on the envelope. The voter also has to fill up a declaration, sign it and get it attested by an officer designated for attestation. The envelopes are dispatched through speed post to the election offices of the designated constituencies. On counting day, postal ballots are counted first before the EVM votes are taken up for counting. In the 2014 polls, more than 40,000 of the 70,000 government employees on poll duty had cast their votes through the postal ballot.